Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I hope you are doing well, that you are digesting the earthquake news, the bomba news of yesterday. And I'm sure that you didn't sleep that well. I promised you, I will guide you to the moment, the difficult moment, step by step. Today I knew about a letter from John Elkan that would have been public in the meanwhile of the day, I was waiting for it from the moment that it was out. I read it one time, two time, I translated it, I tried to understand it and then I divide it in diverse topics. The topics, we will go through them, actually it's not a really long letter, but we will go through them and try to explain it with our own words to make it a bit easier to understand what will happen with the future of our beloved Juventus. Short term, middle term, long term, super important. And I can already spoil you because you probably saw it already on the thumbnail. Yes, Massimiliano Allegri will remain at Juve, at least until the end of the season to continue what he started a bit earlier than the international break with six consecutive wins in Serie A. Attenzione, put a maximum of like. If you want to, if you appreciate the fact that in taking the time to explain you step by step what we are doing and also if you didn't do it yet, please subscribe to the channel. We start with the words of John Elkan and why are they important? The words of the owner of Exor and also by consequence the biggest shareholder and owner of Juventus. Because if until today it was the Juventus of Andrea Agnelli, 12 years since May 2010, so 2010, it's from today, the Juventus of John Elkan. And we can say it, he has new plans for that Juventus. We start immediately with him explaining in his letters why the board, all of them, resigned yesterday. The resignation of the directors of Juventus represent an act of responsibility, which put the interest of the company first. Should I explain? These two sentences, I don't believe so. So he's actually saying what they did was for the good of Juventus to actually divide the individual and probably the individual mistakes that have been done, financial books and so on and so on, by the company Juventus. We continue with the second topic, the new board that will see the light in January, as we already anticipated in the morning video, that is quite interested. If you didn't see it yet, go back and watch that one before this one. Stop, go back, and you come back on this one. You will see the light in January on the 18th. There will be the shareholders meeting first on the 27th of December. Has been reconfirmed also by Romeo Agresti. On the 18th, the new board will be announced. And it will be formed by people with huge professionalism regarding Two big topics, the technical part and also the legal areas. These people led by the new president, and it's written also the word president, Gianluca Ferrero, they will have to face and to solve the legal and the company topics that we are having at the moment. So he's not speaking in that chapter about football, about mercato, about strategy of rejuvenation or big champions. He's saying that the new president is there at the moment to solve especially the legal problems that we are facing. Attenzione, we don't know yet what will be the accusation of, for Juventus. So we'll have to face that. And that's why also Gianluca Ferrero with all his experience has been appointed. He's continuing, and that's a really important uh, line in that text, in that letter. He's saying, I trust the company that the company will be able to show that we always acted correctly. So he's repeating already what Agnelli said. The company acted correctly and they will want to demonstrate it. This is one topic. We continue with another name that you probably heard, Maurizio Scannavino. Who is he? What is he doing? General director, what will be his role? Well, he already demonstrated solid managerial skills in all the companies where he has worked. Will, and he will make use of the experience that he gained above all in the media and digital fields to accelerate the development of Juventus, one of the strongest band on earth. That's really important. 
really small words put here and there next to each other that are giving the importance but also the sense of John Elkan. What does he want to do with Juventus? What is the middle and long-term vision for Juventus? Will we give up? Will we become a middle table team? Will we give up on being a big, big, big team in Europe or in the world? No. No, and Maurizio Scanavino that already showed it with his resume, with his experience, he doesn't know a lot about football probably, but he will be appointed to accelerate media and digital. The world where we are living in today, super important, super important. He will give a boost to Juventus. Why? To accelerate the development of Juventus, developing something. That means we have something and we want to make it even bigger, even better. That will be his main task around Juventus, not on the pitch, because attenzione, we arrived there. And he also mentioned that we are one of the strongest brand on earth, which is absolutely correct. Now he's going to the field with Massimiliano Allegri. He wrote his name, Massimiliano Allegri. He will remain the point of reference in the sport area of Juventus. We count, we count on him and the whole team, so involving also the players, the technical staff, to continue winning as they have shown that they can do it in the last few days. We are speaking about the last, last six days of Serie A with six clean sheets in a row. Keeping our goal high in the field. And that's an important one because you were all asking, we saw yesterday also a lot of questions. Will he resign Allegri? Will he go by himself? Will he be until the end of the season? Will he leave immediately? Will he be dismissed? No, we continue. Guys, it makes totally sense. In a moment where we have some accus accusation about financial books, it makes totally no sense to go and dismiss your first action when you are restructuring the team and the brand and the company Juventus can't be to dismiss a coach that is earning a lot of money for two years and a half. You will have to continue to pay him big figures. Asking to another coach to come to Juve would have been the most illogical choice to start with. Absolutely not. Then you can like, you can dislike Allegri. But until the end of the season, he will be the main point of reference for the team. Super important to back Allegri up. Mercato, we are not speaking about it here in the, in the letter. There is also no mention of Cherubini in the letter. Will there be a name, maybe two names that will come in, that will leave Juventus? We don't know by the letters. We will discover it in the coming days. He also wants to thank his cousin Andrea for the extraordinary emotions which nobody will ever forget. In these 12 years, we have won a lot. The merit is above all his, these are the words of the cousin John Elkan, as well to all the women and the men that worked under his guidance because we achieved memorable goals. I want to make a separate video in a few days about Andrea Agnelli, thanking him personally for all he did for Juventus. But we finished with a really important one. Our story, the story of the black and white since so many years, speaks of victories. And this gives us the strength that is needed in these difficult moments. With the support and the affection of all the fans, we have the opportunity to build an extraordinary future. These are the last words of John Elkan in his letter. We have the opportunity all together with the support and the affection of the fans to build an extraordinary future. If we are doing one plus one plus one plus one, we can start to understand that no, nobody will give up on Juventus. Absolutely not. We even want to start again with a new era of Juventus, a stronger Juve. We already invested a lot of million with capital gains, 400 million the last time. Probably this money was needed for the losses that we have, but Juventus doesn't want to give up. We want to accelerate and start to be even stronger. It will take time. We will also have these question marks. What about the accusation, the legal one? But on the legal one, it will be the president Gianluca Ferro that will take care of it. The development of the field will be taking care about Maurizio Scannavino. On the field, at the moment, Massimiliano Allegri recuperating a Paul Pogba, a Federico Chiesa. Before the end of Serie A, before the World Cup, he said 
that he believes in the Scudetto. He still believes in it, recuperating these people. Will it happen or not? I have no idea, especially because a lot of the other players at the World Cup are getting injured. But that's another story. And he's also opening again to the supporters. Will the stadium again be the fire? Maybe yes. Probably yes. Because he's opening the door probably to the supporters with his last sentence. Guys, I'm curious to see what you have to say. If there are some other news, we will go on live to speak with, uh, uh, about it together this evening after the World Cup games. We'll speak about it tonight. Otherwise, we see each other tomorrow. I want the maximum of likes. Comments. Comments. Your opinion. Your scares. Your fears. What you're, you're, what you're thinking about it. Grazie, forza. Juve. <laughs>